Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, markets are a little bit higher overnight, led by the wheat market. Most of the news overnight is focused on the wheat. I mean, some people think the wheat is uh, oversold uh, and, and that it's too low and below value. Uh, but there's not a lot of n positive news when you look at globally uh, crops rebounding in 2019. First of all, Argentina uh, rated their wheat crop 35% good to excellent versus 60 last year. Talking about frost, a little bit of dryness, all those factors. Corn is rated 30% good to excellent versus 71 last year. We also note that Australia is talking about lowering their crop production numbers. Uh, today is the Russian meeting to talk about whether or not they're going to uh, keep their exports open or uh, maybe start slowing them down. Egypt also has a tender and we'll see if U.S. is competitive for that. Uh, some people think that the Northern Hemisphere 2019 wheat acres, all wheat acres, need to increase 12 to 14 million just to stabilize stocks. Again, in years in which uh, production worldwide drops in wheat, we usually don't get a rally in wheat until January and February. So we'll just kind of have to watch and see if any of this holds near these lower prices. Psychologically, the fact that nearby Chicago wheat traded below $5 is, uh, is negative. Funds yesterday sold 10,000 wheat. And the open interest went up uh, 19,000 contracts, 12,000 in the December. So those are all new shorts. As far as the week, uh, wheat down 22 cents, corn down 5 cents, beans down 14 cents. And um, an improved outlook has the International Grain Council raising its forecast of 18 and 19 wheat crop to 729 million tons versus 716 previously. Um, and it looks like their corn number is um, 1074, and that's unchanged. Their bean number is 369, and that's down about a million tons from the 370 number. U.S. Midwest weather uh, looks like it's going to be light rains over the weekend. And again in the east, light rains uh, on Tuesday, and maybe some snow at the last half of next week. Brazil and Argentina weather um, is pretty favorable. We also note that uh, funds sold 10,000 beans yesterday. Open interest went up 7,000. They sold 26,000 corn yesterday. Open interest went up 15,000. So again, uh, probably looking at the funds now short 70,000 beans. They are uh, short 39,000 wheat and long maybe only 23,000, uh, uh, actually short 23,000 corn. So um, we'll watch the wheat market today. Outside markets, it looks like stocks are going to open up uh, sharply lower after yesterday's sharp gains. The dollar is higher, so we're kind of adding volatility here as we get into the midterm elections, as we get into a lot of uncertainty yesterday, uh, especially with pipe bombs around the U.S., and as we get into some strain relations between U.S. and China, U.S. and Russia, and U.S. and Saudi Arabia. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM Radio Invest Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.